Hey guys, Big Bernay 589 here with a local food review that I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time now. Uh, down where I live in Westley, they don't have a proper noodle shop, as they call it. Um, and this place opened up, I want to say, about um, a couple months ago, or it was a year ago probably. It, I can't get the exact time frame, but I tell you, it's been there for a while. I've been passing every time, and I tell myself, I gotta go there. I gotta go there. So, finally, I did. Went to um, Noodle Revolution. Alright, Noodle Revolution is a small, kind of like, in, in some sense, kind of like a hole in the wall restaurant. You kind of pass by and you think, like, hey, that looks like a nice little place, like a mom and pop shop. Uh, and I figured I'd get something to try it. So, we're doing uh, the thing called Tom Yam. Uh, and it's spicy, I guess. That's why I'm assuming this is here. There's a broth is. I have a couple of things in here that are, are really good to eat. Like it has some uh, some tofu. It's my favorite thing to eat. I like tofu. You got a couple of veggie uh, veggie dumplings. I almost forgot. I took words out of my mouth here. It's two veggie dumplings. All right. You got a cauliflower. I imagine they did something to that cauliflower. I don't know any orange cauliflower out there, but it probably tastes good. It's probably a spicy and cauliflower. I think about that. All right, get some zucchini and more zucchini. These are all going back into the broth. So I'm imagining how people do this when they get it. I'm not. I don't know what that is. I imagine when they get this, they take the this right here, the noodles, because I got ramen, which uh, it was ramen or glass noodle. It was a choice of two, and the other choice of tofu, chicken. That's it. But I imagine you take everything and kind of just put it right in the bowl. Right in here. I'm a bit corny right now, guys. Yeah, I made a mess. Alright, so what of it? If it's not a messy kitchen, it's not a good kitchen. We're not in a kitchen, but I don't care. So you're going to mix that up, guys. Get all these veggies rolling in. Alright. You can't forget about this stuff here, guys. You're going to get this in the bowl, but I like to get all the noodles, you know, flavored. I got all flavored noodles. All right. Now, I do have chopsticks. I like to use chopsticks, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to take it and use my fork. I'm going to take all these veggies, minus the tofu, because I like the tofu by itself. All right. And get that in here. Now this ain't your top ramen, all right? You're not gonna find this in the shelf at Walmart or Stop and Shop, wherever you shop. This should be grade A homemade ramen. All right, so let's get a couple of bean sprouts and get it in here, all right, so. It has a very vegetable strong vegetable taste. Well, the vegetables in here, I think it's in, inside the broth too. Um, the broth is a little spicy. I imagine it has some uh, some ginger in there or some kind of spice in there. It makes it a little more spicy. But cilantro, I taste the cilantro too. That's, what's, that's what I'm tasting. Definitely worth it. That, um, very good mix of vegetables in it. Um, I think the vegetables are, are very good for that. The noodles are actually very firm. They're not too mush. Like when you get ramen and you overcook it, you get mush ramen. I don't like that. Um, this is their soy sauce, and we're gonna try their vegetable dumpling. I'll get this, uh, this guy a bit open, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, but I'm gonna dip it in here first. For a vegetarian dumpling, that is actually very good. So I get this guy to focus here. If I can get that to focus on that. Yeah, that's inside the dumpling, guys. Very good. I'll get another one more bite for to get that, that real impression here. 
as I get soy sauce all over my hand and on this nice little white Walmart brand table. The um, wonton wrap isn't overcooked. It's actually very uh, right in between crispy and soft. It's right in between, it's medium. Now tofu, tofu is very hard when you do this. You have to cook it in something to make it taste like something. Otherwise, you're just gonna taste nothing. So, it bounces too, it's like a sponge. So, we're gonna dip it in here first, then we're gonna try it in the soup. Mm. Yep, that's tofu. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> that's tofu. And the soy sauce, not so much. Soy sauce is very, very, ta uh, very, um, how I put it? Tangy, a little salty, but that's soy sauce in general. And the soup, wonderful. Keep it in the soup, guys. They have a lot of different choices here. They have like burgers, they have kids menus, they have a lunch menu. Lunch menu is $10, if it came to $10.80 in the end after tax. Very well worth it for the amount of soup you're getting here. You're getting a whole pitcher full of noodles with vegetables and some meat if you get meat in it. Um, between a one out of five, this is definitely gonna get a solid four out of five. Um, I would definitely would want another piece of tofu, if anything, that definitely will be throwing me over the edge because I love tofu. And definitely if I get more soy sauce, get more than just a shot because That's what it is. So, it's been Big Benoit 589, guys. If you like that video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, follow me on social media. I'm gonna go check my heart from, from my extra salt disease. And, uh, signing off.